Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the Candida diet and my top tips to cure Candida fast. And I can tell you from working with thousands of patients, I'm gonna go through the exact diet, the supplements, and a few treatment tips that I can tell you just within 24 hours, you can start seeing incredible results in eliminating candida. So let's start with number one, the foods you've gotta get out of your diet. It's gonna be sugar, grains, and surprisingly, foods that are cold. Now, and that's part of Chinese medicine, which I'll share more in a minute, but for starting out, if you have candida, you obviously, I, I think you know this, but you wanna get rid of sugar. You know, anytime you have that white thrush on your tongue, that's a sign that yeast is feeding on sugar within your body. And so we wanna start eliminating yeast. We wanna start stop feeding that candida albicans. And so in order to do that, you've gotta eliminate all sugar from your diet and then also eliminate grains because grains are breaking down into sugar very quickly quickly, and even fruit at first. Now listen, long term, you're gonna add some grains back in after a few days, and even fruit later on, but again, you for, to, for to start, those are the biggest culprits that are causing candida to grow. And last but not least, this is, this is really important, if you're over consuming cold foods, ice water, ice cream, cold smoothies, according to Chinese medicine, your spleen and pancreas in these areas in your body that are responsible for eliminating candida, they get overburdened by cold foods. And so rather than having a cold smoothie, have a warm bowl of broth, or rather than doing ice cream, have something warm. Again, you want things that are warming to your body and drying, that's the key to killing candida. Number two is doing a candida cleanse. Before you go on my candida diet, what I recommend the first thing you do is do a three-day cleanse where you're only consuming bone broth, and vegetables, and that's really it for three days. So again, bone broth, vegetables, you could do a little chicken in there as well. And basically you wanna get a big crock pot, you wanna do some chicken broth, along with vegetables including onions, celery, garlic, and, uh, and a little bit of kale and sea salt. And basically you're gonna do that soup uh, with basically vegetables. You can also throw in things like cauliflower and broccoli. And you're gonna do that bone broth soup with a little bit of chicken and just consume that for three days. And I've had people do that two weeks to see even faster results. But that's where you wanna start in terms of doing a candida cleanse. It's mostly bone broth for a few days with a little bit of vegetables and sometimes a little bit of chicken. Step three is doing the candida diet. And here are the best foods for helping you cure candida. Um, number one, it's gonna be uh, steamed vegetables, okay? Vegetables are the easiest thing for your body to digest. That's that's the first food. The second food is gonna be fermented vegetables like sauerkraut. Now you typically don't wanna eat the sauerkraut cold, but sauerkraut and kimchi are warming to the body and they actually also help your body get more good bacteria known as probiotics, which will help crowd out the yeast and bad bacteria that's built up within your system. The number three food is gonna be Bone broth. Bone broth is incredible because it contains the amino acid glycine, which supports the liver and helps your body clear candida. The fourth food is gonna be organic meat, like wild-caught salmon, organic chicken and turkey, lamb and grass-fed beef. Those are some other great options of foods that can help eliminate candida. And last but not least is gonna be starchy vegetables, specifically things like uh, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, and pumpkin, doing a little bit of starchy vegetables. Now you don't wanna go overboard with those, but one to two servings a day earlier in the day, you'll replace, uh, uh, rather than doing grains and sugars, you do starchy vegetables, which are a little bit sweet. And according to Chinese medicine, those foods help nourish the spleen. They help nourish the body, uh, so your body can actually start to build up the strength of those organs which are responsible for eliminating candida from the, uh, from the body. And by the way, if you want a full report on this on all of the foods that are best, I've got an article on DrAxe.com. So you can go to DrAxe.com, look up candida diet, and I've got a diet on there for you on my website. Step number four is take the right supplements. By far the number one supplement for killing candida is actually not just a supplement, it's a tea, it's called Powdarko. Now you can take Powdarko as a supplement, but I recommend it in a tea form, drinking three glasses of Powdarko tea a day, and Powdarko, that's spelled P-A-U space, 
Darko, D-A-R-C-O, Pal Darko Tea. And you can order this simply online very easily, but I'm telling you, the number one supplement for killing Candida is Pal Darko Tea. It works very effectively. A few other things that really help are essential oils, specifically essential oils of clove, oil of oregano, and myrrh essential oil. Those three oils help eliminate pathogenic bacteria from the body, and the way that I recommend you use those is simply rubbing those on your, um, on your abdomen, rubbing those on your neck, diffusing them in your home, simply breathing those in on a regular basis, but those essential oils are effective. A few other things that are effective at Candida are taking a capric acid, a capricilic acid supplement, taking a berberine supplement, and then also using coconut oil. In fact, coconut oil has antimicrobial benefits at killing off candida. And last step, but not least, in the candida diet is actually has to do with lifestyle. If you wanna overcome candida, you've gotta reduce stress, and exercise can help in eliminating candida, specifically uh, anything that's really getting the body warm. So whether that's weight training, whether that's any form of cardio, um, actually typically weight training or burst training is the best thing to do, and you can do a Google search for burst training online, but that's gonna be the most effective type of exercise to clear candida completely from the body. And so again, if you wanna clear candida, you gotta do that. And, here, and here's something else I, wanna, I want you to think about. With the Chinese diet, if you look at Chinese medicine, what happens, your body, when you have candida, it's typically damp and cold, okay? So think about that, that's how mold, that's where mold and fungus and things grows. If you, if you want to get rid of candida, you have got to consume a diet that is drying and warmer. And so foods that are very drying in nature are gonna be uh, vegetables, it's gonna be warm foods like garlic and onions, it's gonna be uh, actually even, a, if you're gonna do one grain corn and an amaranth are two of the best because they're drying to the body. You really wanna dry the body out and that's why pa Pal Darko tea is so great as well. So again, guys, hey, I wanna say thank you for watching. If you wanna get my full guide on the Candida Diet, diet make sure you go to DrAxe.com or just do a Google search for Dr. Axe Candida Diet and you'll find my article right there. Also, if you wanna learn more natural remedies, make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube page. I wanna say, hey, thanks for watching. This has been myself, Dr. Axe, talking about the Candida diet.